Hello students! Today's topic is about the particle size distribution analysis, of course, aggregate. Particle size distribution analysis, or also known as the sieve analysis, is the process of sieving the dry sample and weighing the retained samples in each sieve. The result of the dry sieving method is plotted in a semi-logarithmic graph with grain size as abscissa plotted on a logarithmic scale and percent finer as ordinate plotted on an arithmetic scale. Sieve test is performed to evaluate grading and to gain information regarding to particle size distribution of coarse aggregate. The aggregate gradation influences the workability of concrete mixes because it affects the water cement ratio and base aggregate ratio. The sieve test is also performed to evaluate the fineness modulus, coefficient of uniformity, and coefficient of curvature. Fineness modulus is used as an index to give ideas about fineness and coarseness of aggregates. The coefficient of uniformity and coefficient of curvature is used to classify a well-graded aggregate. A well-graded coarse aggregate will need less quantities of fine aggregates and cement since there would be less surface area to be enveloped by the cement base. The use of properly graded aggregates will produce a dense concrete. The objective of this activity is to determine the particle size distribution of coarse aggregate and to determine the finest modulus, the coefficient of curvature, and the coefficient of uniformity. For this activity, these are the following required equipments. Before testing, first, prepare the sample by oven drying the coarse aggregate at 105 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Determine the nominal maximum size of coarse aggregate and use this table to know the minimum weight of test sample. Weigh the test sample according to the nominal maximum size. To proceed for testing, First, prepare the sieves. These are the list of the following sieve opening needed. Stack the sieves together with the largest opening from the top and progressively smaller opening to the bottom with the pan at the bottom. Place the aggregate on the top sieve. The sieving operation is conducted by means of lateral and vertical motions. Keep the stock upright and occasionally tap the sieves. Keep sieving continuously for 10 minutes. Weigh and record each sample fraction retained on each sieve. Your data should be look like this. Sum all the weight and calculate the percent error by using this equation. The percent error must be less than 2%, otherwise the data is unsatisfactory and it must be repeated. Calculate the cumulative mass in each sieve by getting the sum of the mass retained from all bigger sieves including the sieve in consideration as shown in this sample. Calculate the cumulative percent retained by dividing the cumulative mass with the total weight as shown in this sample. Calculate the percent finer for each sieve by using this equation as shown in the sample. Draw the grain size distribution curve by plotting the data on a semi-log graph with grain size as abscissa in logarithmic scale and percent finer as ordinate in arithmetic scale. By using the grain size distribution curve, we can classify the sample according to the shape of the curve. It is a well-graded or non-uniform if it is a smooth curve covering a wide range of size. It is a poorly graded or uniform if it has a straight nearly vertical portion indicating a deficiency of a certain size in that region. It is gap graded if the curve shows two or more well-graded portions. You can calculate the finest modulus by using this equation. 
You can calculate the uniformity coefficient and coefficient of curvature by using this equation. Where D10 is the sieve opening corresponding to 10% finer, D60 is the sieve opening corresponding to 60% finer, and D30 is the sieve opening corresponding to 30% finer.
That's it. Hope you like the video. Subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye.